So we come to the seventh move of this eight form sequence at the beginning of another two forms. So this eight form sequence is based on the motions from the eight brocades, that's all, nothing else, okay? Um, like I said, I've gone traditionally with these Qigong sequences, all of them, don't repeat myself too much, but I've gone traditionally down that line with all the meridians, the electromagnetic rivers that are linked to them traditionally within the forms and the organs, etc. But that's not that's nothing like this on this sequence. So basically, we've got the eight moves of the eight brocades, and then there's an 18 form Qigong sequence, and then a nine form uh, Qigong sequence. All added together, it's 35 moves. Basically, this is the seventh of the first eight and seventh of the whole 35. Okay, again, you can do these together or in sequence. I've put them in sequence, I've put them in bracket 35 and then the number. Again, let's get out of the way. So the main thing I want to go into with this move is the seventh move, the eight brocades, is but it's a carter move basically. It's like a front punch from you might see karate, carters, etc. Um and it's a, they're just simple moves. You can go as deep as you like, you know, or you can snap as high as you like. As with all traditional body systems, you can make them unique, unique to you. Now we get into the style of it, it's gonna be Pilates style, yoga style, and hypnotherapy style with the breath. Just a mixture of breaths with movement. Breath synchronized movement, the vinyasa in Sanskrit. Um, yeah, and that's what it is. So. With the breathing, it's gonna be unlike the traditional path of breathing the belly like a balloon, we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna do the Pilates style to start off with. So I'm gonna spend a lot more, again, the movement you can cover in seconds, but I'm gonna go really deep into the breath. So right now we're gonna do that. We zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, take your navel towards the spine, and simply breathe in through the nose and exhale through pursed lips. So you're sort of blowing out a candle through pursed lips. Lovely. And they go together, pelvic floor corset. You can't do one without the other. So as we do, we say that segmentally now, zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals. Take your navel towards your spine. And that will naturally, Pilates style, help you breathe into these lower lobes of the lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. And as you do that right now, that's what we call lateral thoracic breathing in Pilates, okay? And that's gonna help us use our pelvic floor and our corset muscle, what we call the corset muscle, the transverse abdominus, three layers deep, which is all segmentally stabilizing the spine. And that Pilates style there. Lovely, that's what we call lateral thoracic breathing. So as you do that right now, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals and breathe in through the nose and follow the journey out through the nose, for it out through pursed lips, should I say. Okay, you can feel that breath coming low and deep to them fish gills, 3D style, organ deep, sow deep, even bone marrow deep into these lower lobes of lungs, these fish gills, as though someone's opening an umbrella inside your rib cage and letting go, or someone's just pushing out from inside your ribs and letting go. That lovely, free, expansive breath. Just going in organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep into them lower lobes of lungs. Lovely. Because there's nowhere else for the breath to go apart from into them lower lobes of lungs. So just feel that for a while. So I'm relieving these spaces. You just feel that. Safe in the knowledge, you're breathing into them lower lobes of lungs because there's nowhere else for the breath to go. As soon as you Right now, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, take the navel towards the spine. Simply breathing through the nose and exhaling through pursed lips. Now again, that's the Pilates path there. Now we're gonna close the mouth and go slightly down the yogic path with it. We're gonna do exactly the same, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals as you are right now doing that, but simply breathing it out through the nose, okay? And that slightly goes down the more yogic path, making a smaller filter through the nose, so that helps us lengthen the whole wheel cycle of the breath. Allow that to happen right now as you close the mouth, but still zip up the pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, 
and breathing in out through the nose. And as you do that right now, you'll feel that whole will cycle the breath lengthen. Okay, just simply allow that to happen. Simply allow that to happen at will. Okay, again, in your sanas, that helps you relax in there and melt into them postures. So, as you go with that, you'll naturally feel the out-breath wants to fall longer than the in-breath. Just allow that to happen. Allow the out-breath to fall longer than the in-breath, and then we're gonna consciously take our mind to that out-breath. Okay, consciously take your mind to that out-breath, and lengthen that out-breath. Rather than the breath breathe you, you're gonna breathe that out-breath. You're gonna quadruple it, double it, triple it right now that out breath, longer than the in breath, within your limits. And as you do that right now, as you lengthen the out breath, longer than the in breath, quadruple it, double it, triple it, whatever you like, the out breath, in that hypnotherapy style, it's called 7-Eleven breathing. But again, no one's bang on that. If you was to count it, it might be five and 10, it doesn't matter. Don't wanna digress there everyone's length for that out breath is different. Stay within your comfort zone. Quadruple it, double it, triple it, whatever you like the out breath, just make it longer than the in breath. Now, as you do that, be safe in the knowledge that's benefiting the parasympathetic nerve system. All the things we don't think about, sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation will be benefited by elongating the out breath longer than the in breath, just encouraging in restful relaxation responses and endless streams of comfort. Okay, cellular communication has been benefited, organ function, that natural state of health, wellness, and well being and renewal all being benefited by just simply elongating the out breath longer than the in breath encouraging them, chemical cascades of relaxation to come into the nervous system at will and help everything feel even more relaxed on a cellular level by simply elongating the out breath longer than the in breath, simply allowing that simplicity to relax the mind also. Rather than the breath breathe you, you're gonna breathe that out breath, as you take your mind to that out breath, ride in the wave, that lovely elongated out breath, just looking to untie the knots that are bound you, but in that sense of liberation and freedom, every single organ, cell, sinew of the body, as you elongate the out breath, longer than the in breath, allowing that relaxation just to soak in like ink through blotting paper, into every single organ, cell, sinew of the body. Lovely. Wrestle relaxation responses you'll be feeling by doing that. Now again, that's more than enough as you zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, simply elongate the out breath, longer than the in breath, like you are right now, in and out through the nose. If you wanna go slightly more yogic on the more advanced side, and you can, if you can't, don't worry, just simply, we're gonna to go to Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. Okay, so be aware of where the sound of the breath, the feel of the breath, as it weaves that tapestry of relaxation and every single organ, cell, sinew of the body at will, okay? But we're gonna make that easier when you can. Just do this Ujjayi breath. So all you do is narrow the esophagus to go slightly more advanced, Otherwise, if you can't get this, don't worry, stay on the breath you're doing. If you can get this, great, narrow the esophagus, and you're gonna make a smaller filter once more with Ujjayi breath, victorious breath in Sanskrit, and it's gonna sound like this. You're gonna grip the esophagus, you're gonna narrow the esophagus, and it's like a shoulders down, and it's a with a mouth shut. You're breathing in for the nose, Shoulders down. Mm -hmm. 
And as you do that right now, that Ujjayi breath is gonna help fan the fire to burn all the toxins in the body. That lovely raspy, silky, whistling sound from the back of the throat, Ujjayi breath, seashore breath. That'll give your mind something to focus on, even more so. Okay, it's more like focusing breath. We do it sometimes when we're trying to do a fine motor skill. We're overemphasizing that focusing breath. Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. That helps stimulate the thymus gland, thyroid gland even, which helps us weight control, etc. Helps us build the heat in the body, helps us fan the fire, to burn all the toxins in the body, even more so, that Ujjayi breath. Otherwise, stick with the breathing you're on. And we're gonna simply, in a vinyasa style, link that to this simple motion. Punch, punch him of angry gaze to increase strength. Again, a charging fist, it's called in other forms, doesn't matter. Again, it's a simple move, hand supinated. Again, we start, we start tall, zip up, scoop out the abdominal, shoulders down, lengthen up for the crown, exhale on this motion. So again, you're gonna turn at the end. These two knuckles go near the sternum, the breastbone. And you're gonna breathe in, come back. But you're gonna really elongate the out breath for as long as you like. That might be enough. Again, it's not sort of, you know, boxing move. We're just keeping nice and still. The base of the crane is nice and still. It's just these levers moving, breathing in, coming back. Really exhale long to get that hypnotic response and breathing sharper back. Now again, as with all these body systems, you can go in as deep that is comfortable Go in as deep that is comfortable to you. So again, squat position, down as low as keep the knees in line with toes. We're sticking to the eye angle yoga principles of alignment. Again, there's two schools of thought when we go into that. Or you go into the horse riding stance, feet slightly out, sumo style, okay? But not Charlie Chaplin. And then you come down a little bit deeper, optional. I would go no further than knees in line with toes, again, Exhaling down really long. Again, if, if you get down there before the breath's ended, then just carry on elongating the out breath nice and long. Come up sharper, zip up, scoop out abdominals. Exhale long. If you finish the move before the exhale, carry on with the exhale. Breathing, come up, push up for the heels. Shoulders over, hips head over shoulders. Exhale for as long as you like. Breathing, come up through the crown. Exhale, long down. Zip up and hollow. Shoulders over, hips head over shoulders. Navel towards the spine. Zip up and hollow. Breathing in, coming up. Exhale, long down. Breathing, come up through the crown. And again, as you zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. With that simple motion, just really elongate the motion on the exhale, okay? Only going as deep as you like, okay? You can imagine you've got a puppet string, a hook, a brace on your head, pulling your head up towards the ceiling. Okay, okay, that puppet string, that hook, that brace, pulling your head up, shoulders over hips, head over shoulders, lengthen up for the crown. Exhale really long down, no lower than knees and line with toes. If you get knees and line with toes, you wanna go deeper, stick the tailbone out, go slightly deeper. You'll have a slight sort of lean, but very gentle lean, of the spine, slight flexion, but again, gathering, zip up and hollow. As you breathe in, come up, that'll help you use that erector spine and keep you up. But again, that was number seven. It's number eight, well, the last of the eight brocade motions only. Um, it's called shake the back seven times, eliminate 100 illnesses. But again, that was punching with angry gaze to increase strength, number seven. Number eight coming next. Bang.